actually the worst day of my life. This is not it by any stretch. The worst day of my life is I grew up in New York City and went to New York City public schools. And my mom was a substitute school teacher. And so the absolute worst day of my life is when you're about a 13, 14 year old boy and you walk into the class and you find out your science teacher's not there, but your mom is going to teach the class. <laughs> and trying to calm your friends down from the stuff that you usually lead the activity of is, is actually quite a trip. Thank you very much for coming to San Francisco. This is Autodesk World Press Day. And what we wanted to do this morning is talk about a number of things. But what we're going to do is give you a brief introduction to Autodesk. Some of you are quite familiar with Autodesk, others of you who are less familiar. I want to talk a little bit about the importance of design and engineering and entertainment and how those ideas that are coming from really disparate disciplines, how they're really coming together. Autodesk and our customers, because that's really where the focus. We have about 9 million users of our software worldwide. And as we're always quick to point out, that's 9 million people who have actually paid for the software. There's far more users of it than those 9 million. Um, and it's the most pervasive engineering and design software in the world. It's used by the large companies, by small companies, it's used everywhere. 9 million users, and we add about 750,000 new users per year to that total. So grow, growing quite rapidly. On top of it, Autodesk has been financially successful because of this idea of bringing technology to a broad market, to a volume market. Our idea is we want to democratize this technology and make it as available as possible. And what we want to do is we want to look for the new trends and figure out how we bring things from these different ways of bring them together. And so today you'll see a number of presentations where you'll see the convergence of what's going on in architectural design and mechanical design. You'll see what's going on in entertainment and how that influences the storytelling that's going on in the visualization around architecture or new product design. And because of the trends that are going on in the world, and because of the technology we brought to market, Autodesk has been successful over a long period of time, over a 25-year period of time. Uh, over the last five years, the company's exceeded 20% growth. Uh, this year that we just finished, we're expected to exceed $2 billion in revenue. Um, and we've already talked about future growth clearly exceeding 15% a year for the next five years. Here's just a look at our global revenue, about the same size in Europe, the Middle East, and Africa as it is in the Americas. And even the slip of the Americas, including Canada and all of South and Latin America. So the U.S. part of our business is about a third of the business. And I think that's just one of a number of signs of what it is these days to be an American company doing business globally. About a third of our business done here. The fastest growing parts of the business are clearly in places like Asia Pacific, um, particularly the emerging economies in Asia Pacific, the emerging economies of places like Latin America as well as the Middle East and um, parts of Eastern Europe. The other part that makes our business somewhat unique is the ecosystem that surrounds it. So if you were to look at, let's say, the $2 billion in revenue this year that will come to Autodesk, at a minimum, there's $4 billion spent by users on our software, and it's probably an ecosystem that exceeds $10 billion when you look at what's going on with channel partners, the development partners, and the amount of learning and training that goes on. 4,500 instructors, more than a million students trained every year on our software. And so the ecosystem that surrounds it is much larger than the company itself. And I think it's an important way to support the community of users. Autodesk is 25 years old uh, this year. 25 years we've been in business. We started out and are best known for our flagship product, which is AutoCAD, continues to be an important part of what we do. But as you'll see through what we talk about today, what some of our customers talk about today, the world has really moved to the next level. And so with a collection of products, a broad portfolio that's more than 40 products, we address all the needs of different industries. And while if you look back historically, AutoCAD was a broad-based, horizontal technology, 
It supported many industries. There are many people who customize in specific ways. If you look down, the technical demands of each industry have risen to such a level that we have specific products for each of those that are very different. And that's really been what's gone on for the last five to 10 years, is the development of these different strains, these different kinds of software heading in different directions. But if you look as we go forward, you'll see that these things are not that different, that they have technical foundations that are very similar, that the underlying technology is quite common, that as strange you may seem, the things that you'll see today in games are gonna be applied to design visualization and vice versa. And so you can see this convergence of technology across the multiple disciplines. 